I just spent the last 8 months and 21 days traveling through 7 countries and 16 cities. I remember when I started this trip, I had literally no plans. I'm just gonna like go until I have no money left and I'll come home. What I had was 2.5k and a one-way ticket to Kyrgyzstan with no intentions of coming home anytime soon. In this trip, I rented my first house, hitchhiked for the first time, the mini bus, had my first work away. It's going on YouTube. No. Oh. <laughs> slipped on snow, had a van slip on snow, took a 24 hour sleeper train, booked a last minute flight to Georgia, talked English for a bit. I just had 3 hours back to back classes. I feel bad because I'm like not qualified. Got my first tattoo and did a lot of crazy shit that will last me a lifetime. Vodka, 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 beer, no. Oh, and I drank a lot of cheap booze. Yeah. Sheriff! <laughs> Drunk bitch! <laughs> what the fuck was happening? Also, I encountered a lot of problems. Oh my fucking god, apparently I went to a th wrong terminal. I cut myself. My drone crashed and I have like blood all over. That's led me to an ATM machine instead of the bank. Everyone kept cutting my queue because like I have no impact, you know, like. Then he was like, oh, uh, photos is not free, you have to pay for free, like, already. Quick, insane and I was so desperate to have this like dry before I had to pack that I put it against this heater for a bit and then I freaking burned my shirt look I'm having immense regret not sticking to the road so freaking slippery here yeah. I made a mistake in the end I had to pay him 20 lari so I feel a bit scammed yes I was just black out oh, it was so quicky like all night it was just like Okay, now, now there's no Somehow my packs get harder and harder to carry each time. One degrees but the wind man, the wind is killing me. And I was wondering if I go to another country, would there be an issue? And I almost got scammed by this cafe. Problem my passport? Am I banned from Turkey? I started out as an introvert that got excited when I had the hostel to myself to being a person that needed social interaction. I'm bored. Oh, can I just say I'm really grateful to everyone I've met on this trip. You guys have been so welcoming and friendly towards me that I basically like can't live without friends now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much and I really hope that we'll meet again someday. I love these guys. And I don't know if you noticed but I have a lot of unreleased footage which will come out in the next couple of weeks. So please stay tuned to that. Yeah! Spoiler alert. I still freaking hate packing! By the way, the food I tried throughout this trip was amazing. Like, I mean like, AMAZING! Oh my god, this looks so damn good. Well, even though it has sadly come to an end, mostly due to my passport problems, I would say I'm ready to be home. I'm gonna say something very cliche. This is not a goodbye, but it's a new beginning. <laughs> Anyway, that's it for today and the next couple of weeks I'll be posting more travel vlogs and videos. So if you're interested, please subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye!